Hey, it's me, Chris, also known as Christmas95, and I'm back for Animal Crossing Roommate Edition. That's right, we're doing another one this year instead of two years since the last one. But yeah, basically yesterday was the anniversary, July 9th, so if you missed that, we went back and visited our old GameCube town from last year and uh, gave it one last farewell, and then the day after that, we're kicking off a new Roommate Edition with New Leaf. Can you believe technology has advanced so far that we can jump all the way from the first Animal Crossing game to the latest one to do something like this? It's insane. And the last time I played New Leaf was like long before the last, like the, even the first roommate edition with uh, Carl and Eugene. So that's like over three years ago. Like, I, th I think at least. So I know like nothing about this game or don't remember much about how it works. I remember it has a little slow start, so we'll we get to see that but if you don't know what roommate edition is basically i play for today and then i upload a video today on the same day and then i transfer or give the save fa save fable the save file data to pat patrumpkin who will do wednesday and then pat gives the save data file to julian or game boo and julian does thursday and then we have a fourth new member named k K-A-E, who is going to be a new fourth member, and she's going to do Friday, and then she loops it back to me, giving the save data to me, and then you'll see me again on Saturday. And essentially the idea is we, you know, ch spend the day in the town, change it up a bit, and then the other people, like, you get to see what all the other people did since you last played. It's really fun. It's like a great formula. I love it so much, which is why I'm always glad to do it every year or so, but, uh, yeah, I wonder how four people is going to shake it up. I'm used to three. I feel like I'm going to go through some withdrawal, but uh, we'll just have to see. So let's start a new file. And, oh, there he is, Rover, the greatest video game antagonist of all time. We have made eye contact, and now he is talking to us. Scary. Yep, that is true. I'm just gonna plop down on the seat across from you, if you don't mind, of course. So we're basically gonna set up our town here. You... Can I ask your name? So, in the old roommate edition we did, we made our name... Wait, hold on. Oh, look at that. Look at that, I came prepared. <laughs> we named our character... Baco, because we all met... Well, we... Yeah, basically, we all met our friends in a server called Bunch of Fuckos. So, you know, up! Oh, Oh, this is the drawback of modern technology, or modern games. Uh, we can't use that word, so we're gonna have to improvise here. And this is our- <laughs> this is 2018's character, Fricko. Cool, right? You seem like a pretty cool guy to me. That's basically saying, you're a guy or a girl, right? Or a guy. The town name. Now, uh, this is going to be interesting because last year we did Oaks, which is where Too Many Games is held, and that's where we all met. We can't really do Oaks again because uh, reasons. So, what what are we going to do? We're going to change it to Con Show Ha. Though people are going to probably read that as Concha Ho, aren't they? It's Concha Ha. You know what? I'm changing it up. Because we can't put down any more characters. Because our Airbnb this year at Too Many Games was in a part of Pennsylvania called Conshohocken. So we're going to go with Conshaha. <laughs> That's our town name. I can't believe it. Uh, that is the town name. Conshaha. I don't think I've heard of it. So apologies if you can hear people landscaping outside. Apparently that's a thing at 4.30. Alright, so here we go. Chris gets to choose the map. Now, the real question is, is this a map I want? The plaza is right here. That's a nice spot for it. This is in the center, which could be really good. The museum is up here. You know, and you know, this is pretty okay. You know what? I think I think we rolled it pretty good cuz in the first in the first Animal Crossing you didn't get to choose. In this game you do get to choose and it just randomly generates it for you. You know what? I think this is what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna go with the first one. 
So that kind of leaves, you know, leaves off any stress of me just being like, well, we could leave it to RNG. Well, here we go. I get to choose and it was basically left up to RNG. So you get to go to Concha ha very often. It's a secret, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a little secret, you know. Or is that a secret too? It's a secret. This is why you can't trust this character. You got what appears to be a one-way ticket. Could be that you're moving. You're pretty sharp. So I think we can swap back now. I hope I don't forget to do that. This is my first time playing a, you know, double screen game like this and recording it, so. The town of Kanchaha. It sounds like a... <laughs> Sounds like a native tribe place, almost. Kanchaha. You know what, that might be where Kanchahakan came from. I actually don't know. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed the trade ride this much. I've been riding the rails an awful lot lately. I haven't done this much traveling since 2002. It's gonna be so weird getting used to Fricko, I think. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be something. So the game might dip down in speed and stuff. I, ba I basically closed everything on my computer, but you know, that won't really help speed and stuff. Yeah. So if the recording comes out pretty weird, then there we go. But yeah, basically what you, when you choose it's a secret and stuff, that's that determines your character's face. So we decided on that face, which, you know, it's a pretty, it's, a, it's probably one of the most common faces, right? People just want to, you know, choose this shit posty face, but it was just so easy. Person we've been waiting for. So these are some, here's, here are some of our villagers. Puddles. I don't think, I don't recognize any of these villagers, but they all seem pretty alright, actually. And then there's Isabel, of course. Everyone loves Isabel. That's one thing you can't forget. Uh... Mare. Well, who's this mare? <laughs> Quit joking around. You know exactly who you are. Uh, you're mistaken. I believe you're mistaken. Yeah, SMH my head. Uh, no. I don't think this changes anything. I hope it doesn't. I wouldn't know. Mare Fricko. That's me. Here's our here's the map of our town. Wait, that's the town hall, not the museum. Oh, do we get to choose where the museum goes in this game? I thought that was the museum and the town hall. Actually, I don't know. Is this a oh this is a frog? I thought it was a bunny. It's a frog. Okay. Puddles reminds me of a friend we know. Has the same kind of aesthetic, it seems. A uh, bunny, if any of you are aware. Look at this dude's smile! Ooh, I like the colors, though. So we have Rudy. We can get a sweet gym. I don't think you can build a gym, right? Oh, Puddles, I don't- I don't really like the TF2 spy look you have going on on the front, though. Rough. I'm so familiar with this song, because I just kept it on my first playthrough. I think this is just the town tune that always plays. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go to the town hall. This is the tutorial. I don't know who else lives here. Actually, can I, uh... Alright, let's see here. We got Puddles. We got Rudy. We got Kitty. Elmer. And Gruff. So, I don't know who any of those villagers are, so this is going to be a new experience for me, at least. Yeah, once again, sorry if the game slows down a bit. Technology has advanced, but it's not perfect, so, you know, game quality and speed may vary across all of us, too, since we all have different builds and whatnot. So, just keep that in mind. Isabel works too hard, as we all know, right? But youth is a breath of fresh air. Heck yeah. So essentially, we're being thrown into this mare position. And that's kind of the gimmick of this game. Where you can, like, build stuff and choose how 
certain stores do things and stuff. It's pretty cool. I really like it a lot, so I wonder what they're going to do for Animal Crossing Switch. We need your- we need address. Fricko, do you have a place to live yet? Oh, I thought she was gonna ask me for my real life address, and I'm like, well, I, I guess I can make that sacrifice for the quality of the series. <laughs> so yeah, we need to decide where to live, because we don't have a house. We, we looked at all the houses, and none of those say Fricko on it. We could probably... Who, who would you want to room with? I'm thinking we could room with Rudy. But now, basically we're gonna go to Tom Nook, and everyone knows Tom Nook. One more thing, having the town pay for your living costs might be taking the idea of this expenses, expenses a bit far. You need to pay for things like your home loan. Oh, don't worry, we're all aware of that. It's actually really funny how in New Leaf they toned down characters like Tom Nook. Well, Tom Nook was never really bad, I don't think. But, uh, like, Rossetti is toned down. And chances are, we're probably gonna see Rossetti. <laughs> I have a feeling. Now, the real question is, place your bets on which day Rossetti will appear. Essentially, it's based on who played the game last, right? So, you know, keep that in mind. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally close the... close the thing prematurely instead of saving or something. No, I won't forget to save. I did that with, the, you know, our test town because it's not important, but... Whatever. This is Conchaha, not test. <laughs> which is the name of the town <laughs> that uh, I was testing with. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Uh, sure. I actually should have done that while looking at the map. So, uh... Yeah, I really should have considered where I'm living when I was choosing a map, which I didn't. So, I, I know this because I did the tutorial. Now, the real question is, where do I live? Where, where do you guys think I should live? This is a rhetorical question, as we can't figure that out. I mean, we could live by the bridge. We could live kind of... I kind of... Maybe living by retail would probably be the best thing, but closer to up here is what I'm thinking. You can't see my mouse, actually. Why? Oh, that's kind of annoying. Well, so... Uh, <laughs> I thought I had that on. Oh, well. You think I can change that? <laughs> you think... <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second here. Uh, properties. Capture cursor. Okay, capture cursor's on, so. Oh, I have to I have to click in the window, I see. Okay, so yeah, basically what I was saying is I think, uh, you know, we could live around here. Or we can live up here-ish. Kind of close to town hall, probably. Like, maybe right here by the pond. And then we're near the main bridge, and chances are we'll get to build another bridge here, so that won't be a problem. I'm thinking we want to live right around here-ish, so let's make our way over there. Uh, and the problem is space. Since I really can't zoom out the camera at all, we're going to have to eyeball it. We're probably going to have to kill a bunch of trees right here, but uh, I think that'll be good. That's a rock. I feel like we can't build a, rock, build a house here. It would be nice if you could, uh... From where you're standing now, you need to be able to take about four steps left, right, and back. Okay. Steps? Like, one, two, three, four, and just back? Let's just say here. Maybe, like, here? I, what do you mean left and right and back? Wouldn't that just be back? <laughs> Plenty of space to build a house here, close to the town hall. So I, I wish I could zoom out, <laughs> but uh, I think we'll live here, and I hope that they like it. I kind of want to maybe live closer to the pond, though. Hold on, let's. This is this is gonna take forever. Oh, just remember, behind this one tree. Like, it would be nice to live, like, here. Like, if I could put it here. I guess we might just put it behind the tree. I think that rock's gonna be in the way. Yeah, it has a large rock in the way. You can't, you can't remove rocks because the game randomly generates them. It's important. You'll see later on. You don't know about the money rock and stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's put it here, then. 
This is this will be fine, I think. I think this is a pretty good spot. Pretty centralized, close to everything, and that's important. I hope I'm I hope I'm not making terrible mistakes. I hope people aren't looking at the screen and being like, Chris, you idiot. You moron. I mean that's <laughs> especially the three people I'm rooming with. I hope that they uh well, you know what? They said they were fine with me, my judgment, so, uh... I don't know, they didn't seem to like how I decorated the house, the houses last time, so... The house last time. We'll just have to see. It's a little shabby looking. Yeah, we have a tent so that we have a place to actually live. For now. And we'll head back to the town hall. I like how the mailbox is just a piece of cardboard. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is. I never- <laughs> that's a welcome amiibo thing. I like the goat kind of character, but I don't really like that shade of green. I don't think I'm alone there either, but we'll get used to it, maybe. You can, like, complain about villager in this game, but I don't think you can just get rid of them like that. So maybe that'll be an Animal Crossing Switch. You know what? I'll say, yeah. The perfect spot. I think- I'm pretty confident in that spot. With the limitations of the game, of course. Registration. What is your birthday? Well, I forget what I did last year. I think I did the birthday for a bunch of fuckos, but you know what? I think I think that we uh I think that wait, I don't know my months, I'm an idiot. I think we could just make it the the anniversary of roommate edition. I think that that's it's a pretty important date nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> yep. That's our birthday. Do you think we'll make it to our birthday? That, that'll be the big goal here. Who knows what we're gonna do? Because we have we have K as a fourth now. We could probably, you know, mix things up. Maybe swap people in and out if we want to. We Who knows? Maybe a season two kind of thing. Who knows? <laughs> Town pass card. It's an ID card. That proves that you live in Conchaha. So I know you can- I guess you can change this in the photo booth or something, right? The photo that you have. If we don't like this face after a while, we can actually apparently edit it, because we're, you know, <laughs> you know. Computer, computer. Oh yeah, initiatives. I don't know anything about this because this is after my time. So we earn meow coupons, which can trade for rare items over at the campground, which is that little arrow area we saw on like the left of the map. If you prefer, oh, you can, you can trade them for bells. Interesting. You know, that reminds me, though, a huge part of this game, I'm pretty sure everyone's aware of, is, like, the beetle... The beetle hunting on the island to get a crap load of bells. I have no idea how any of us are gonna do that. Take a look at your map. Let's go to the plaza. Actually, does, does that start at 11? If the beetles start at 11, that might complicate things. We might have to ch change up the rules a bit. Because in New Leaf, the town refreshes, like, the Money Rock and stuff refreshes at 6, which I think is the same as GameCube. So we could play after midnight and still be fine, but the way I like to do it... So here are new villagers, <laughs> which... I mean... Let me click in here, yeah. I don't really like this color. We'll see what that person's like, and then I'm, I'm alright with this dude. But yeah. We're gonna plant a tree. Pressing A. Hold on, I gotta put my heart into it. There we go. This is such a curious set of villagers. <laughs> like, only, only that one moose horse, I think it's a horse. That horse dude looks like completely normal-ish to me, you know? Not that I'm judging them. At least we don't have that villager with the underwear on his head. I think his name is Stinky. I don't, I don't think I like that villager, but we'll see. You know, we might see. Tree has been planted. So now we can do things as the mayor, which is to say, I can finally look around and we're done with the tutorial, which is a lot easier than the GameCube version. Sorry, I was reading the text while talking there, which I'm not very good at. Here we go, our first save. Perfect. Now hopefully that works. <laughs> hopefully this this save works. You can now save your progress and end the game at any time. 
Unfortunately, we aren't about to do that. We're gonna go ahead and talk to people. Oh man, I'm so familiar with these songs though. Like it's insane. Mush? Why do you say mush? Oh, whatever. A lot of people don't know this, but mares need to be really buff. You think so? So I'm assuming this there's a jock character. Doesn't really look like a jock character. I go to the town hall. Heck yeah. Life advice. Yeah, I think villagers in this game are just much generally pl more pleasant than in the GameCube version. So we probably won't have things like uh, Peanut and uh, Blue Bear. <laughs> for better or for worse, really. I mean, rough. You bought a house, right? Well, not entirely, but... Knuckling Junction or Able Sisters. So I hope those places are open on your first day. So keep this in mind. You can't you can't mark things on your map, can you? That would be really nice, but I don't think you can. So all the villagers should be around here, correct? We all dispersed after planting a tree. Splish. Splish. Concha hot orange. So I'm assuming that's our town fruit that we have right now. Quick cash, you can sell fruit at retail. Yeah, I wanted to go close to retail because that's where we're probably going to be putting most of our items to sell. And then villagers sometimes buy them and I remember you can push them. Oh man, it's all coming back. Okay. I, I, I you know, I maybe I remember more than I think. That's a beetle. We can't catch it yet. But beetles go for a lot of money. Whoops. Hat! What? Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I skipped it again. Wow, okay, it doesn't- the text doesn't scroll. You get extra bells if you sell a hat. But can't you just sell them to her directly, too? Man, I- I completely forgot about that. Oh! Nokeling Man is here. See, this is a little tutorial. On stuff, a tape deck. I wonder if this is always the starting things in retail. These always look too familiar. Oh yeah, can you, like, barter with Reese 2 or something? Man, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I might end up looking up a lot of stuff in, in, you know, the intermittent time where I'm not playing. Of course. Hello, we haven't met. Yes, my name is Timmy. I have a brother, and we do Nookling Junction stuff where you buy new things every day. It's gonna be the a highlight of the day, let me tell you- Okay, this is- why is that so slow? <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, recycling? I don't, I don't see much plastic around here. See, it's, that's why it's called retail. Yeah, I think the valuable item thing changes every day. It's it's not really a big deal. Unless they're, like, asking to sell fruit. I, I like this. This is like an... Oh, it's not an apple drawer. But it looks like the inside of an apple, doesn't it? Stop! Extremely tired from working all night. So, if I recall, this dude takes, like, genuinely, not even exaggerating, two weeks or so to wake up. Which is insane. So I have no money. Uh, that's kind of an issue. I don't think I have anything to sell either. So... Yeah, we're kind of starting at zero here. Your dude didn't even bring any money with him. It's insane. Uh, yeah, nothing. I got nothing. Thank god you can use a pointer like that. Oh, a present. I wonder who it's from. So I'm gonna be switching between, you know, keyboard and mouse a bit. From Nintendo. Nintendo? Are they gonna give me money? A big help with all the exciting additions. Okay. Interesting. Also, sorry. I, I gotta remember to do this. I, I, all I hope is that I, you know, remember to change back to this screen, but... Let's see what we got. Instruct- Oh god, the enclosed instruction book. Nintendo. Nintendo. Okay, you probably put it in your house, so let's do that. Why not? Our house. 
Many quotation marks. Oh, we don't even get a lamp. Oh wait, maybe this is where we get a lamp. And Isabel teaches us the joys of uh, putting down furniture. It's okay, Isabel. Yeah, here we go. The best item in the game. Lantern, I didn't even get it. Did I say lamp? Wow. Trust me, when I wasn't thinking of a lamp, I was genuinely thinking of a lantern. Yep, don't worry, I got it. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna judge me here. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expand the bottom screen every single time I use it, just when I'm gonna be spending like a minute or so in there, I think. Like, you can still see it. Super. This is basically telling you, basically just a bunch of tutorial stuff, like you can interact with items. We all, we all remember how this goes. I'm actually the master of interior decorating, so uh, you don't have to worry about me. And then we'll put down the enclosed instruction book. Display, huh? Yeah, it's just there. Oh my god, it's the... 3DS question mark manual icon thing as an actual book. Okay, let's let's see what we got here. What if it's just white or black text on a white background? Uh why why do I feel like that crashed the game? Why do I <laughs> why do I feel like that crashed the game? I'm gonna have to get rid of this instruction manual so that no one else finds it. Well, that's just great. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Take note that, uh... Whoops. You're not supposed to see that. Oh! Well, the game's saved beforehand. I think we're good. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> A new feature has been added to your game. Okay. Amiibo camera. So this is basically using amiibo cards and you can recruit villagers that way. Use a spot pass. Yeah, I know all about spot pass. Sure. I don't think, I don't know if it'll, oh God. Well, oh, okay. Apparently I must consent to something. I don't think I can do that though. <laughs> so here we go. Hey there, Mayor Fricko in Conchaha. It's 501, yeah, that's right. Oh my goodness. What what a what a crazy crazy thing. Hey. Oh no. Oh no, did anyone guess Oh no, did anyone guess day one for Brissetti? <laughs> I promise you, this was not this was not scripted. <laughs> uh most people call me Mr. Rossetti on account of me being a respected member of the community and such. Looking forward to working with you. Of course, this will probably be the last time you ever see me since there ain't no center or nothing. But we'll see about that, Rossetti. Don't worry about it. Rossetti is my favorite Animal Crossing character, so I'm gonna try to prioritize that. Uh... I had no choice! I... <laughs> Ha! Uh, like, Rossetti's like ready to go off, and then he's like, Anger Management, remember what you learned in Anger Management? Oh, that's a darn shame, is what it is. Can't really help you out there. Oh, my mole heart, that's such an awful thing, never happens to you again. Yeah, same. Yeah, here's the thing the Reset Surveillance Center, it don't exist anymore. It wasn't even in the GameCube version, was it? So, I don't actually really know what he's talking about. What's wrong with a little reset every now and then? We don't get the fun. <laughs> we don't got the funds for this nonsense. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. Rossetti, I didn't ask for your life story, but okay. Well, Rossetti's out. Here is your mayoral powers. Mayoral powers to restore the center. That'd be different. Run in my trap like a fancy pirate or something. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I hope you'll remember to save your game. Did you? <laughs> I, my hand was forced. 
My hand was forced by the cursed instruction book. Oh no, it's him! How could this get any worse? I got delivery. What? I already put it in your mailbox. Then why are you... Okay. I think when your mailbox is full, he actually walks kind of around your house and you can talk to him to get it. Oh, I thought he was gonna fly off. Man, so much has changed since the GameCube days, huh? Okay, don't open that letter. <laughs> no, open it so that you can get rid of the thing. Alright, uh... Present... From unknown sender. Let's see here. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. That's Tortimer, isn't it? Okay. Well... You know, we're gonna remove- we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can remove the existence of this entire Nintendo thing. I think that's the plan here. Now, I don't have a shovel, so I can't bury it behind anything. Uh... I don't know if I can sell it. I feel like the game will- Nah, surely you can sell it. Surely you can sell it. I get used to cicadas, they're pretty annoying. We should have picked a different time of the year to start roommate dish. We have to do this again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, really all I missed was talking to the villagers. And, uh, this. And then I went, got my mail, opened the cursed closed instruction book, and then, or closed instruction book, and then, you know how it went. Alright. Yeah, I think... I don't know if I can buy anything from Nooklings yet. I think they like really restrict you on day one or like at least the first week. It's kind of dumb. Definitely a criticism with this game, but once again, I don't remember, so... <laughs> we'll just have to see. I remember like... Didn't this come out in the summer? The summer this came out, every, every single day, for the first two hours when I woke up, I would play this game. Insane. Wait, did I open my present? Okay, hold on. We're so, this, is, this instruction book is cursed! I don't even know why it doesn't work, but uh... I can't do anything about it, so... I want to sell. Please let me sell this. Please. Please, I... I know that- I think there's a billboard? Even if I say... Oh, thank God. Like, even if I use the billboard to say, don't open the instruction book, they probably will open it first, or before seeing that. So, okay, now we have some money. Thanks, Nintendo. So, I guess Nintendo came through for us after all, and gave us some money, just in a rather indirect way. Okay, uh, there are villagers that we have yet to see, but... I want to get items first, in case we come across things, like X's in the ground and whatnot. So if I can get a shovel on day one, that would be perfect. I would love that. Man, I'm so used to the big store. Like, oh wow, and Kix isn't even here yet. Oh my goodness, this game. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> big spoilers for Animal Crossing. <gasps> the shovel! Oh my god, the tree cut out. Of your first time in our humble establishment? Okay, please, let me buy this. A shovel. Please, 100, 500, 500, 500. Where am I supposed to get 500 bells? Trees? Oh, how's this gonna work? You need... Oh, we... Start with 42? For some reason? Well... A modest two play coins. I don't really know how I'm gonna shake this 3DS. I remember, like, back in the, I think, yeah, back in the Animal Crossing days, especially back in, back in Yokai, the Yokai Watch days, and back in, especially the Pokemon days, Pokemon X and Y, to use the powers, like, I shook my 3DS for, like, 30 minutes every single day to get, to reach max O power, that's what it was called in Pokemon. 30 minutes. And I was like, is there, can I buy, like, an automatic 3DS shaker or something? So, I know one way we can get money, and it's kind of risky. I think this game has a designated- Oh, well, there we go. No, no, I really don't want villagers making fun of me. 
If I had a net, I would definitely go for catching the bees, but uh no net. Oh man, I'm gonna want I'm gonna wanna buy the fishing rod for everyone else, aren't I? Yeah. We might be here for a while, but it's the first it's the first uh day, and to make matters worse, uh ooh, I can just pick this up. What's the button to pick things up? Ah, I see, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if we can get 500 bells from shaking trees. Yeah, I think Animal- like I was saying, I think Animal Crossing New Leaf has a designated furniture tree every single day. Where one tree in the entire town is guaranteed to give you furniture. Now, I don't know how true that is, but... Oh, I can sell oranges! Is that perfect orange? Perfect orange. I guess every town starts with a perfect fruit? After- I really am gonna have to remember this. So, uh... The question is, do they trust me to bury this orange that is perfect, to make a perfect orange tree? Or do they think a villager is going to move on top of it? See now, one thing I know about the start of this game is that a villager moves in like after the first day, like immediately. So we're going to be getting a new villager soon. But that presents a problem in that uh, they can move on top of where the perfect orange is and destroy it. And that I feel like it's basically guaranteed to happen. I think the game has AI inside of it where the villager <laughs> automatically targets, are you for real? Hold on, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, go, go, go. I'm very tempted to just save and quit <laughs> because I hate this. I hate, I hate bee, being stung by a bee. All right, let's get let's let's go get the shovel. Let's, let's stop messing around. That was a cicada shell. Can I? No. Okay, you have to catch that. Actually, where where are my objectives for that thing? No. I have no idea. Perfect orange. Look at it. It's so weird looking. Yeah, let's combine all these to get some money. And then we'll buy a shovel and look around town for the money rock and stuff. It it would start snowballing from here on out, I would say. Whoop. Yeah, it's like once we go in and out of doors and areas and stuff, the game might slow down a bit, but it's not that bad, all things considered. It's doing a lot better than I thought, so that's good. Well, maybe not a lot better. All right. Oh, I was supposed to sell at retail. Well, you know what? It, it does, does it matter entirely right here? You're supposed to sell at retail. That's basically- they, they just give you better prices. What would you like to sell? Just all of this. And do you want to take the beehives too? <laughs> sure! Oh, that's great! I really want that fake tree though. How much is that? So is that a lamp? That's an actual lamp, I think. I know. Actually, you know what? Do I remember? Probably not. Yes, I know. Okay, it's just gonna tell me how to catch fish, not really how to use it. Basically, what you can do is use the D-pad, right? You can't use it indoors, so that's probably why I can't pull it out. I thought you could pull it out, but maybe not. And then the shovel, the most important item in the game. So the real question is, how do you get the golden shovel and stuff in this game? I have- I don't remember. I know how you do it in Animal Crossing 1 for, or like, on the, like the back of my hand, but, uh, oh, that's a lot of money. Don't worry, I'll be back with lots of money. You know what? I said that this game is nicer than the previous game, right? <laughs> the previous game being Animal Crossing for the GameCube, which is the previous game we've done. Previous game is City Folk, but shh, Chris, stop talking. Regardless, uh, those people are meaner than in this game, so perhaps, perhaps they won't make fun of me too much for the bug bite. It might get kind of annoying though. Yeah, you can use the D-pad. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, fossils in this game also are also a bit different. The museum. Now the real question is, where is the museum? 
Oh, you, oh right, the museum is, uh... Back near the... Like, back in that area where the shop is. Not retail, but the Nook shop, you see. Wait. I think this game's different, in that you have to actually... You know, put these back in. The game won't reset it because the RAM is so bad. So I'm gonna have to get into the habit of that. Yeah, now I rem now I remember how this game operates. I should also check the houses to see who I haven't talked to yet. And then keep that in mind. No. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I wanna get the frame perfect dig. No, Chris. So who is this? Kitty, I think we've talked to. Rudy, I think we've talked to. Elmer, we haven't talked to. And... No, oh, wait. Kitty's the cat. And Elmer, I think, is the horse, correct? So maybe we haven't talked to Kitty. We can at least look at their houses. The, that's the least we could do. Oh, yeah. She's one of these people. You could tell from the eyeliner. And just the color. Like, it's a bit... It's just weird and blue, blue ears. I don't know, man. This is someone's favorite villager. It might be someone whose favorite villager who's watching right now. I feel like such a jerk. Also, she doesn't seem bad, so... Also, they're not commenting on my bug bite, so... Not bug bite, my bee sting. Yeah, real different. What do you think of our town so far? Well, I kind of chose it, so... I'm thinking it's pretty good. And they're probably gonna say Isabel's gonna give you advice for like the first month of gameplay. Yeah, she seems nice. She doesn't seem like a peanut type. I really don't like peanut. I really, really don't like peanut. So this is Rudy. Rudy's the cat dude. So, and then I put it away by pressing down. Yeah! I got it. Yeah, we're gonna pick up oranges. Just have some something to sell, more or less. I'm out. Or he, didn't, he didn't say I'm out. He said, like, something about smack. I don't know. We have two rocks right here. I might make a rock map like I did in the first roommate edition. Or the second roommate edition. It's very hard to, because it was the first roommate edition with Pat and Julian. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Because I think it's stricter in this game, you know? Like, the timing is stricter. I forget if that's the maximum amount, or if in this game it gives you all the way around and I just screwed up the mash, but... Oh, well, you know, it's a pretty good starting amount. I could definitely buy that fake tree now. My pockets are gonna be full, aren't they? Oh, they aren't. If I recall, this game doesn't, uh, whoops. I didn't mean to press, well, I did mean to press start, but that's not the inventory button. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't just automatically put it in here, which is kind of annoying. I hope Animal Crossing Switch does that. This is this is, this series essentially is like, uh, let's play Animal Crossing and then just hope to God that they announce Animal Crossing Switch because we're all fans of that here. So is this the, now that we found the money rock, I think, I don't know if the fake rock starts appearing. I think it does. I never really use the gems that are in fake rocks. Hey! What are the spikes on your back? I'm assuming that's supposed to be a mane, but... Tenderfoot. My heart got all thumpity thump. Doki doki. Alright. Uh, well... We have money now. Let's go to... wait. <laughs> but first... Actually, I should look around for fossils and stuff. First. And then we can go to Nookling Junction and whatnot. Yeah, I, oh, someone commented on it, but it was a nice comment. I try, I tried to go to the camping place. No avail. Oh yeah, I should have known that this is a real rock because the game wouldn't let me step there. Actually, I wonder if. Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Cool. I don't know what a purple gem is. Oops, sorry, I keep- I'm gonna have to get used to that. Amethyst! How could I forget? Along with garnet and pearl. <laughs> so, okay, now, what? 
I don't even know where I find these things. I have two of these. I have 12 of these. All right. I guess I did the achievements or whatever. Oh, let me... Are they here? Yeah. Anything you write in your profile can be seen by other users of Street Pass. No personal information. Okay, I see. Okay, initiatives. We did it. New town initiatives are available daily. So that's gonna be something to do every for us to do every day. Purchase items at the campground, which I guess we'll check out. Oh, okay, so these are still here. We just get more of them later. Giant snake head. We have a fishing rod. Tap it eight times. I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, right? Unless I did it seven times. <laughs> I curses. Well, oh, okay. So I should have gotten these first. Now with the old and with the new, clear out any an unwanted item by selling it at retail. Okay, I can do that. That's pretty easy. Do I? Ha I don't think I have an unwanted item, but I can buy an unwanted item. <laughs> Just like specifically to do that. So let's look around the town a bit. We don't have a net, so we can't catch anything. It shouldn't be too big of a problem though, right? And then, yeah, we're gonna have to start fishing and stuff. I don't know. A giant snake has to be this around this season. Otherwise, they wouldn't tell you to catch it, right? This looks pretty giant. No? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't look like a snake head. It's been a while since I've fished in Animal Crossing, but... Yeah, you know, I think that the size difference... Like, there are size differences for the fish between this game and the GameCube version. So I'm gonna have to get used to that, I think. And then I remember there are sharks. Don't forget about the sharks. Whoops. I'm gonna clean this place. Everything. To go like this. There's, I hope in the Switch version of the game there's just a sort button, like an automatic sort button or something, but I still gotta plant that orange. I'm scared! I don't wanna be held responsible for it. You know? Can you blame me? I don't think you can, right? Like, I'm just. It's gonna happen. I think there's a 90% chance it's gonna happen if I don't. Plant it in a very specific spot. Like, a sp like, there are probably Animal Crossing people out there that know exactly where villagers won't move in. So they abuse that knowledge to plant their perfect tree there. But I don't know where that is. Whose house is this? Like, all the way alone. I should have come hang out with- made my house next to Gruff. Hang out with him, but alas, I have not. So, also, the question remains, how many fossils are in this game? I'm not sure. Now look at this. This is designed for a bridge right here. Like, if that doesn't scream bridge to you, I don't know what will. Like this, this is a little too slopey, you know? The other one juts out pretty perfectly. It's okay, I don't know where X's are in this town. I don't know if I, but yeah, the rolling landscape, which is different from GameCube, kind of makes it a bit harder, I think, to look at things in the distance. I'm not actually sure. But, I think it does. I want to look around the center- Ooh, the flowers! I want to look around the center here for a bit. Just this kind of center area. And then, we can head out. Get fossils done. Oh, yeah, actually, while I'm here, I can peep this place, too. The campgrounds. Oh, yeah, because we can buy items here with the thing. Also, sorry for keeping that there. <laughs> Once again, I'll get better at it. Trust me. It's day one. I, you know, not perfect. <gasps> a tennis racket? I've played Mario Tennis. I don't like how it lies on the ground, though. You can call me Harv for short, or Harv for long. Plain old Harvey is fine, too. Car camping ain't real camping. We decided to put it in our mobile game, which has kind of gone downhill. <laughs> so, I don't know, dude. I feel bad for Harvey that that happened to him. Your bells are no good here. 
There's this. I don't really think we need to buy either of them. But I also don't know how rare they are, you know? I don't think they're rare. I think they're just the same kind of thing. So this is a vill- this is a villager, correct? A bird villager, perhaps? And I guess we can try to woo that- oh my- wait, this is the turkey dude, right? I love this song. This is the- this is the Thanksgiving special villager, isn't it? Whoa, I was not expecting that voice. I was expecting a Tortimer voice. Town the chef who visits the town each year for harvest festival. Well, you're kind of early. Franklin only uses the best ingredients, even outdoors. No campfire beans for him. So I can order anything from this dude's house. Is there anything I want to order from this dude's house? Maybe the fridge? You know, I feel like... I feel like we need to live properly, correct? Have I been on the bottom screen this whole time? Like I said, I'm an idiot, so I'm sorry. I'll have to get used to it. <sighs> That's not a very good excuse, though. Jeez, I'm sorry. Uh, kitchen refrigerator. Kitchen island. Oh. I feel like the refrigerator will be good. I don't know if you can store things in the refrigerator anymore, but... Or an item, it will be shipped directly the next day. I think they want... You think they're gonna want- oh, a chef's outfit. Wait, I didn't even notice that. That's probably exclusive gear. And these are probably also exclusive, huh? I don't know, I think about that. Well, I can buy all of these. Use all of our- You know what? I'm doing it. Bump it. I don't know if they're gonna be happy about this, but... I wanna fill out our catalog or something. I know there's a catalog in this game. Three times. Shoot. I don't even know what that means. Well, I screwed it. I didn't know that rule. Okay, here we are, back at the nice big screen. <laughs> sorry. Once again, man, I'm sorry about that. Just, I, I ha like, OBS is kind of far away with how I have to do this, so. Like I said, I'll get better at it. It's day one. <laughs> just, don't, just don't think that these are bad first impressions. That's all I ask. Please. So, all right, let's go and so wait, we can write on this board, correct? Yeah, okay. That's where we're going to be writing our daily updates. So don't forget to do that. Other people who won't be able to watch this <laughs> until they're done their video. All right, I'm getting that fake tree. And then we'll look at other clothes and whatnot. Maybe I should just buy the lamp, too. I mean, what's this wall? Probably don't need stationery. Wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? What is it? Wrap? So, oh, okay, so you ba it basically makes a pre- You know, you can put something in it for a present. I thought it was a wallpaper. When did we get those? See, the thing is, I think, to help increase Nookling, uh, like, increase the size of these stores and stuff you have to buy from them, and I guess sell to them, too. So maybe I should do that. I don't know how many bells you need to buy and sell with, though. But I'll, we'll just do it to speed up this shop upgrade process. And I don't think you need a, you know, I don't think you need a second memory card for, uh, for that. We'll sell the amethyst, too. Just because I don't- we can't even do anything with it yet. We have to wake that dude up. There's just a little extra pocket change, I guess. I think we're good. Actually, whoops. Turning around sent me outside of the place. <laughs> I guess I could buy the paper. Can I buy infinite amounts of it? I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like the other guys, <laughs> the other people I'm playing with, would know what to do a lot better than me. So, like, you know, they probably know how many pieces of paper you need to buy to upgrade the shop. I'll just, I'll probably leave that to them. And don't forget this other tiny door right here. Oh. Can't, okay. Never mind. You know what, that becomes something later. Don't worry about it. Even that's not something that big when you think about it. Okay, 
Here we go. What can we buy? Clothes. The best. Don't use the word buzzing around me, please. So here you buy shirts, and next door you buy other things. I'm gonna buy this. We're gonna start with the fluffy dress straight up. Look like a bunny. Heck yeah. You bet your sweet bippy I'm gonna buy it. In fact, let's buy everything here. Because we can add it to our catalog. You never know who who's, who's gonna like the rock and roll shirt. I genuinely don't think that anyone is gonna want to wear the rock and roll skull tee and shirt and I don't know. Did I just say a rock and roll vibe? I don't know. Shopping for a present? You know, I, I wish you could tell Mabel just no. This is for me. Cause you can you can cross dress in this game, which is great. I wish like every game allowed you to do something like that. It's just cool. Ooh, but the game it's fine. A little red riding hood thing. I'm not buying umbrellas. <laughs> Screw that. Get dumb glasses. I don't think we want that though. I'm gonna get the riding hood. I could probably just buy everything. The problem is, I think I won't have enough space. Fireman's hat. I'll take it. How much space do I have? Yeah, okay. Let's go to... <laughs> Let's go over to the museum for now. I guess we could sell some more of those things at Nooks as well. Nooklings. It's different, keep in mind. But, you know, while we're here, I actually really like this kind of shirt combo we got. Let's see, uh, this. Definitely wear that. Oh yeah, let's go. Wait, can I wear this as well? Was that, will that change anything? Oh, okay, I guess that takes the shirt off. Oh, wait, what? What am I looking at now? The pockets are too full. Oh god, that's something they should change. Wait, this is new. This map on the bottom screen? I definitely don't remember this. Maybe because I'm stupid, but I, maybe that's a welcome amiibo thing. Uh, well, I'm gonna, yeah, okay, so it took off the fluffy dress. Okay, I'm gonna wear the fluffy dress though. And you know what, where's the hood? Put that on. Oh yeah, I don't really actually like the hood. We're gonna remove the hood. <laughs> it's on a bit too tight, I think. We're already off to a great start here. I'm gonna be real with you though, I kinda like the other thing better. 500 bells, forget it. That was, it's mu as cool as cross-dressing is, I think we I kinda just like our default shirt. Blue grid shirt. I, ju I just like this, it's just, just great. We're gonna keep it like that, and you know what, we're gonna get a photo. This is gonna be weird going to look at the meow tokens or coupons or whatever and then no, have no picture be there. I ain't about that. So what can I do? We mean cheese. What can I? Oh, you know what? I I feel like we shouldn't have the <laughs> the B I, but whatever. I feel like you can make faces like in Mario and Luigi. And I just don't know. So I guess my real question is, is three fossils, four fossils, or five fossils? I feel like it's four, and I missed one. But whatever. And we'll donate the fish too. I was about to sell it before I remembered you can donate it. Bit of a night owl. The Conchaha Museum. Blathers talks a lot, that's why he's called Blathers, you see. Insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. Now, previously you had to send fossils to get them assessed in the first game, at least. But, uh, you know. Blathers does it in this game. It's great. He's like, we're displaying n literally nothing. They didn't even put one item, like one complimentary item in here. And there are a lot more fossils in this game, too. Like, remember how small it was in... Oh, you can do this. Oh, that's even better. Hey, remember how, uh... The small it was in the first game, the exhibit. Like, wow. What an improvement in this game. All of these are not in the collection. Are you gonna tell me what they are? Wait, what? 
Oh, I see. I, I told him to assess them. So what did we get here? We got... Uh, I'm assuming that's a small fossil. The Styraco torso? Oh god. And the Triceratail. And take the carp too, why not? Yes! Man, I remember, like, waiting for the yes. <laughs> Just be like, oh, heck yeah. We can do that. Okay, then we'll go back to Nooklings. Sell all the clothes we don't want. We're gonna keep the dress, though. The fluffy dress. I feel like they can do something with that. And so fluffy. So let's see. I remember this is the club, which is kind of useless. And I forget what this is. Oh, that's the dream thing. The dream address. I don't know how online works in this, but it'd be kind of cool if we could visit, like, you, bleh, what am I saying? Viewers, like, dream addresses and stuff. Assuming that works, which I think it does. Man, I sold this dude out of house and home. Can I help you? I want to sell. Take it. Take it all. Uh, let's see. I wish I could see what this is. No, not the tree standee. The skull tee we don't really want. Checkerboard shirt we don't really want. I'm, a, I'm just a sucker. The blue polka shirt. Shorts. Oh wait. I can wear those with my current shorts, can't I? I don't really like the red hood or the fireman's hat. The alpine lamp is probably classier than the lantern, which is why we're gonna sell it. <laughs> I say lamp, lantern. The lantern, I told you it's the best item in the game. They're gonna sell it immediately. Watch. They're gonna pawn it off. Without realizing its true power. Fortunately, you guys have me. One fourth of the roommates. To respect it. Yeah, let's buy the rest of the stuff in here. Probably sell them. I just wanna reiterate that I'm selling them to Nookling because I think that upgrades the store. Okay? Just keep that in mind. I forget where you changed the town to. You probably do that with Isabel. I don't know what I would change it to, but whatever. You know what? We can wear the hat, too. I don't think- I think it'd kind of clash, though. So this is a- it says facial mask, like, when you're at, like, what was that? A spa! <laughs> when you're at a spa, right? And you get a facial mask, but it kind of looks like a Phantom of the Opera-esque mask. Do you want to be a doctor? No, I just kind of want it. Do I buy the umbrella? I, I, like, I still don't think umbrellas have purposes in this game. Let's see, thick glasses. What do I look like with them? You know what, let's, let's keep it. I don't know, I feel like I really like this default look that we started with. We got really lucky, I think. Alright, let's put on the blue polka shorts. Wait, these are new. You know what? It definitely clashes, but we're, we're all blue now. I'll take it. Did you just make me blue with my own attack? Yeah, because we bought we bought the blue shorts. I remember that. You know what? They're pretty good. See, that one note in this town tune is off, it feels like. I really want to at least fix that because it's bothering me. You know what, we'll keep the cap. I don't think anyone will want these. You wear the doctor's mirror over your eye in this game, by the way. I don't know why, but you do. How long have we been going? Ah, over an hour, I see. Now, there's such a thing as being excessive, even with the tutorial, Chris, because the tutorial in this game is actually really short. Compared to the first game, as I said. But in a way, I kind of like the first game's tutorial. Am I weird? I think I'm weird. I'm definitely weird. So let's see what else we're missing here. I feel like Nook's gonna hit us with the debt. He's gonna hit us with that amount. And then I'm just gonna walk out. Oh. Fricko. I kinda forgot that was our name. The numbers. Okay. That's it? 10,000? We're already like one-tenth of the way there. Let's do it. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, I need that just to get my house and not the tent. Now look, we I know that's not a lot. But... I want the brown. 
I want the brown roof. He's gonna be like, you don't have a house. Yeah. I have to... Uh, oh man, this is not even... Okay, I see. They're gonna build the house still, I think. It's just... <laughs> it's just, I'm gonna have... To, if I want to expand it, I'm gonna have to pay up. I see. Alright, and then what's in here? I know you get... This is mail. But since you don't send fossils through the mail anymore, I kind of forget what the usefulness of this place is. Oh, this is where you pay off Nook, correct? Deposit. Wait. Maybe not. I don't remember. At least we have Pelly now. Send mail, save mail. Ask about a present. Okay. Limited time only items. I don't think we can get any of those. Once again, I don't know how well we can connect to the internet, so... I'm just not even gonna bother. Uh, okay, you know what? I think we're gonna sell this. Not sell, what? I think we're gonna bury this tree. I think we're gonna bury it. And by that, I mean the perfect fruit. Probably next to our house and the town hall. Now, I have to make sure that there's a suitable amount... What the? I didn't, do, I didn't even do anything in retail. Okay, whatever. And you know, we'll hear this every time we get close to the house. So it's actually kind of beneficial to have our house right next to this place. That's actually a great, a great point, Chris. Okay, I want to make sure. Like, can a villager move in here? Can a villager? I've I've watched. We we have a friend, Toaster Man, who's streaming this game right now. Watch him if you want. So yeah, this is. Our movement isn't as circular as I would like. Just get it over with, dude. There we go. That's still in this game. A favorite. See, there's another one. One, I don't even think this would be enough room for the tree. And two, someone in Toaster Man's town moved literally right in front of Town Hall, like their house was right here. I do, they're ruthless. I don't, I don't, I don't know where to plant this tree. Like, this is too dangerous. We have to, we have to put it close. I think we have to put it close-ish. But where? Where do we put it? Where's there enough room near an object that no one will build a house there? Okay, here we go. We're gonna do two spaces away from everything. No one will build a house here. Right? But what if, I, what if planting it in the dirt means that you're gonna have problems later? Okay. So like one, two, I think up here will work. I'm wor I'm worried. I'm straight up worried. Like, well, do I need two diagonally? Can I be trusted with this job? I think you could still plant trees up here. They probably can't do anything about that. Let's see, how close are these trees? Now, this is actually a bad way of doing this because, yeah, the game will do shit like this that's just kind of impossible. Oh god. This is the last thing I have to do. You know what? This is, this is two spaces away, so I think we're good there. Let's do it. Oh god, guys, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Bury. Don't eat it. God, please don't bury it. Please don't eat it. Oh god, if I mess this up, I'm not gonna hear the end of it. So, okay, let's write this down. And we actually have a keyboard this time, so that's good. Actually, first things first. Let's see here. Notice, the bulletin board is for posting important town announcements. Use write to create a new memo. Erase to erase the memo. Are oh, you gonna erase other people's memos? I hope we don't do that. Kanjaha News. Fricko has assumed the role of mayor. Okay, now what do I want to write? How much can I write? That's a great question. Let's see. Normally I would edit this out, but I think we did a lot this episode. That's fine. So let's see. Got us all set up. Oh yeah, this would be a great time to do this. <gasps> Whoa! Whoops. Sorry for the clicking, by the way. But this is a lot faster than the GameCube version. Yeah, I didn't really think about this, did I? Where's the exclamation point in this? Oh, over there, okay. 
Got us all set up. Uh, what about? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I bumped the mic stand. Uh, I'll leave. Leave the new leaf expertise to you. Oh, oh God, is it gonna do this? Whatever, I'll leave. You, <laughs> more, more experience. If I say players, that'll sound really weird, right? You more experienced peeps. Two, it. Uh, also. What the brackets? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> The perfect Whoops. The perfect How much can I write? I, I'm anxious. Actually I could test this. Uh you know what, we're not right above the rock, because that doesn't say anything. Also, I wrote about. Oh my god, how can I typo when I'm doing one letter at a time? Okay, the perfect tree is right... Hold on. I hope that's, that's <laughs> square and OBS actually wasn't recording. That would be really stupid on my part. Yeah, also the perfect tree is right near... What do you call that place? Right near... The what is it? What's it called? Bernook and uh, the museum. Forget what it's called. Near the shop alley. <laughs> oh my God! Entrance. Whoops. The perfect tree is right near the shop alley. Entrance. Also, I'm sorry if the music has been too loud. Oh, let me see. Do, 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 do. No, that seems pretty alright. It looks like it reached a high that was above where I like it, but... It should be good. So the perfect tree is right near the shop alley entrance. Hopefully... This doesn't even have to be... You know. Oh, wait. Oh, now that messes that up, huh? Hopefully... Doesn't get moved over. <laughs> What's the, what would I say for that? Doesn't get... Curse you. Curse you, game. Oh, I thought that I'd reached my limit. Housed. Let's just call it housed. I like that term. Hopefully it doesn't get housed. Alright, now how much more can I write here? That's it! Okay. Wow. So you don't have a whole lot here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six lines. I figured with how... The, well, I guess the... On the, you know, board itself, the space is relatively small, but... I would have hoped that... That was one thing they improved. So, all right, let's see. Got us all set up. I'll leave you more experienced peeps to it. Also, the perfect tree is right near the shop alley entrance. Hopefully it doesn't get housed. There, perfect. Fricko. I'm not gonna sign it either. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling that they're gonna wanna sign their names on it. If, I guess if everyone does it, I'll do it. But okay, uh, before, actually before we're done, I, I hear a balloon. I can't do anything about it until uh, we get a slingshot. Oh, I missed doing this too. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I want to do the town tune too. Oh my god. Oh my godness. Yeah, I don't have an actual town tune in mind. I might do that next time. And hopefully we, uh, we don't just look up town tunes and then do that. Like... I, I like the idea that we're that we can uh, 
What am I saying? I like the idea of us. Did I mess up again? I'm sorry. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe I should just not enhance the bottom screen. I like the idea of us, like, hearing a song ourselves and then trying to replicate it on our own. Because I don't think any of us are music majors or anything, so... I think it'd be pretty funny if we get it off note and stuff. So I'll go over that with them. But yeah, let's take this tree cut out. And the question is, do I want to open the fortune cookie or do I want to leave that for pet? I, I, oh my god. This tree. Fortune cookie can go like right here. I don't, want, I don't know what I want to do with this. Perfect. Let's do the fortune cookie. Let's do it. What do we get? I can just place the fortune cookie in the room. There was a fortune inside. Let's see. In both life and love, there is always another castle. So is it a flagpole? Perhaps. I haven't played this game in a while, so. Oh, I have to. God. Okay. I had to bring it back to the knuckling kit. I completely forgot. I mean, given furniture in this game is leaves, you could probably fit a leaf in a fortune cookie and then have it still count. That's kind of where my brain was going there. Don't worry about it. I understand now. Oh, God. And then we'll finally be done. I've, I've done too much. Wait. Troubled. I want to do. I could give you some advice. Nah, I'm fine. That's great to hear. There are some things I think you should know. Well, I'll leave that to the other guys. I really don't have free time. Can I... I don't think I can change the town tune yet. I don't know where you change it in this game. There's no board outside town hall. Like, or the post office is there. No, I don't remember that. I don't even know how you change the flag, but I think we're gonna... For, <laughs> I have an idea for the town flag. Don't worry, I, I think we're good on that front. Yeah, the flagpole, huh? I think it's the flagpole. No, 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 because it's another castle. It's not Toad. There's no way it's just Toad. Or Peach. Or, like, Bowser. You know, it might be the axe. You know what? That's a great... I think... I'm gonna take that guess over the flagpole. I used to, like, know all these by heart. <laughs> it's not like they're that hard, really, but... At the same time. It has been over three years. When this game even come out? Like, forever ago. To uh, oh, even better. Oh man, I can't wait until they boot up the game and see me wearing a toad hat. Well, we have to keep it. We have to keep it. This is just a guarantee. Oh yeah. We can't wear the glasses though. Kind of unfortunate. They're gonna be mad that I'm keeping all this stuff here, but whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> man, I look like such a... Man, how do I... How does this hat just make me look like such a dumbass? And with how polygonal this hat kind of looks... I kind of wonder if it... Now, there's no way this is the Mario 64 one. But, like, if you look in the top corners there, you can see... It's shaped like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's like an octagon. This toad hat is an octagon! So, now it's on screen. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, so that's going to be it for me. Let me know how you like this format. I'll, I'll check the volume myself, but, you know, if the volume's too low or too high, let me know uh, as well. But when I say this format, I mean this, this screen format, you see. Just with this stuff here. I don't know if me saying I'm playing is really necessary, but I do want to do thumbnails, so you just kind of know who's playing on that video at a glance, and then maybe... That'll kind of remove the need for the <laughs> top part, but I don't know what to replace it with. I guess just roommate edition. That's probably better. We'll see. You know, once again, we're still in- it's day one. We're still in the entry phase here, so... I'm curious to see what the other peeps will do with this. But for now, I'm gonna save and quit, and then that'll be that. So thank you for coming out for the very first episode of New Leaf. Hopefully we'll go on for quite a while. Who knows how long we'll go.